Well, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit Junk Journal. And I am playing around with these little bags and I spritzed this one with these distressed oxides. And my goal is to kind of see if I can turn this uh, little bread bag into a journal cover. So I've got this distressed oxide. This is gathered twigs and I'm gonna spritz that one on first. It's a little bit of a darker color. So I'm just gonna spritz that on here and there, not too much, just a little. There's a little, seems to go a long way. This time, I'm gonna do it a little differently, and maybe I shouldn't, but um, I'm gonna spritz this. So, oops, forgot to tell you, this was antique linen. It comes in a set, there's like three of these, like a gray, a gathered twigs, and an antique linen, and then, but I don't have the other one around here, and then I've got a Mermaid Lagoon. So I'm just gonna, Spritz a little on there. Then I took this little Ziploc baggie, and this is an idea from my friend Marianne, and swish, swish it around. Now on top of that, I feel like this one has a lot more of that other, of the Mermaid Lagoon, so maybe I'll add a little more brown? I don't know. So, I figure all of these are going to end up different, you know, no matter no matter what I do. Um, I did add a little, yeah, that's, I don't know if it's just because it's drying. That looks totally different. And then I also have this tumble dye, absolutely out of control. I'm going to try to s just kind of, I don't know if my spritzer is broken, but I'm just going to spray it Woo! over there. I cool. wanted to add a little bit of brown in there so and then i'm just kind of dabbing it in around the edges let's see what happens interesting okay i'm gonna try a little bit more of the antique lighten it up a smidge and then i'll let that one be uh so far this one looks miles better so let me do that one exactly, try to do it exactly how I did the other one. We'll see how that goes, right? Because it's it never goes how you want it to, I guess. So I like to do the brown first. Oh, my fingers are getting inky. So we'll try that. And then we'll spray. And then, oh yeah, I did this spray. This is, this is a uh, brown ink sort of like an olive green and I sprayed that on top so I did forget this step and then I don't know if it matters but I did let it sit a little while while I kind of decided what it what I wanted to do and then I dabbed it and then I believe I added the Mermaid Lagoon after. And then I dabbed it again. So, yeah, that made a difference. Okay, well, cool. It's interesting how just the order could change it so much so that's kind of interesting i'm going to leave out well i have the brown so i'll try to add a little brown in just add it in each of these corners and then let it be or not it's mixed media it's fun <laughs> i have to say they do look more blue as they dry and i only have three of those done I'm going to let these dry. The inside looks a little good just because it kind of bled through. This one, this one, and that one. And I just put that on that ink, so let me just have it do its own thing anyway. And these papers underneath are going to be pretty, pretty fun also. This is the results. These are totally dry. This is like the next day. 
Uh, those are the covers and how they look, and I think they look pretty great. The one thing is this side crease here, I think I would just glue that shut, to be honest with you, and uh, not worry about it ever showing up. So I'm sure I would ink it. I can put something delightful in here as like a cover. I can ink this side if I want or cover it with paper. I'm probably gonna take like some pinking shears and just trim this interior piece um, to be like sort of that situation. And to be honest with you, I might as well do this one like that as well. So just like trim off the end. And then both sides will be pockets. So I like that idea. I don't think there's really much else I need to do. So we'll just let's go for it sometimes you just have to go for it be brave aren't these cute these are cute and i've got like three of them so and i've got more of these bags so maybe i'll just do that with all of them i'll make a whole boatload of journals i don't know if i'm really gonna do that but <laughs> sounds good <laughs> Yeah. First I'll try this one. Oh yeah, I was gonna use like some pinking shears. These are giant. These might be just too big to really get in there, but we'll give it a go. Ooh, kind of slides right along that plastic. Okay, okay. Can we do it? Maybe. There we go. Yeah, just a little insert. This one got away from me. Let's try. No, it got away from me again. There we go. That's nice. So far, so good. So got this end open. Now, might as well see how this goes. Do another loop-de-loo. along here. Some layers that I don't really need. There we go. So then it's more symmetrical. Not totally symmetrical. That's okay. This is going to be like a mixed media mini journal. So that's totally acceptable. And I can probably, I probably want to glue that down. That's kind of flimmy flammy. So I went ahead and glued all of these sort of sides that open up together like this. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. And I just had one left to do. So I just glued the bottom side. Oh, spilt a little glue. that and then I'll just and then usually the glue kind of spills out a little here so I just kind of wipe that down make sure I don't glue my pocket shut nobody needs that burnish it nicely and then uh, when you open up the pocket this area right here is open too so i'm just gluing those as well but i'm only gluing them kind of down the side a little bit and then along that edge just to prevent you from catching on it when when you put something in this pocket so i think that was a lot better to do this step before i uh and then just make sure you you're not gluing anything down before I uh, do another distress on this. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did to the other side and take my spritzer and we, well, I'll let you stick around and watch this. I got my paper. I ended up taping, washi taping my, my little papers together. 
These will be neat papers when they're done too, actually. Make sure I've got my little baggie here. We'll do a little spritzing. I may have to do a wet wipe to this plastic piece in the middle. And I did these all uh, separately. And I want to get a little piece of my purse there. All right. But now I might as well do them together, right? Yeah. That one, then our antique linen. Where'd you go, antique linen? Oh, up here. This antique linen might be my favorite. All right, now we're gonna blot it at this, at this stage. And I feel like some papers might lend itself to this method a little bit better. Just a little bit of like a gloss to it when it's really, really matte. It seemed to like absorb like this, seemed to not blend as much, but maybe it's just because I didn't get it quick enough. I don't know. And I suppose I can take the stuff from the from the middle too. Goodness. And it inked up a little bit before, so we'll see what happens. Okay. And I don't want to over blot it either. Like blot it too much, then there's not as much um, variety to it. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a piece of paper, maybe this piece of paper, and fold it to about that kind of width. And then just blot it in between here, because there's an awful lot of ink on there. Distress stuff that I don't really, ooh, look at that. Oh, might as well do this side like this. All right, maybe take it this way. That way there'll be less to clean off. I don't know if I'll be really necessary to totally clean it off. I don't know. This plastic or we just leave it as is? I don't know. Maybe I'll try a little this. I know this is like dye, but I'm also kind of re-wetting it, and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get another little layered effect to it. Try this middle. There we go. So that's fun paper. That looks really neat. Cool. All right. <laughs> there so you know it's sort of like cleaning it off at the same time now I'll do a little spritz of this oh yeah I had to do that on the side anyway silly me silly me boy that effect right there is super cool already so this is the part where I'm gonna I'll blot a little not too much just a smidge Let's add a little, little effect to it in different places. And then this blue. Try not to get too much. Let me get a wet wipe. This is messy. So messy. Okay. Because otherwise, oh, my fingers were just wrecked yesterday when I went home. I was like, look at what a good day I had to my husband. <laughs> oh, that was a bit much. Hmm. <laughs> that was a bit much. Well, it's like we've got enough for everybody to share. <laughs> you can share over here. probably plenty okay then I'm gonna I'm gonna re-spritz in the middle try to clean that back up oh I'm gonna run it low on this I'm gonna have to add a little water to it where's my water I got a little water spritz my little 
around here somewhere. Oh, locked my desk. There it is. Okay. We'll just use water. That's what we really should have used the first time anyway. Okay. Now, where's that? Oh, there's maybe another piece of paper. Got some things. Oh, this is a nice width too. Oh, that worked out really well. That was really fun, I have to say. It's a little bit of a weird process. Got some unusual phases, but it's working pretty good. I have a little spot here in that. Okay, that's not. Let me just, um, I'm going to, this is running low, so I'll just pour a little in here. be diluted. There you go. You can do it. Oh, looks like we're clogged. No clogging allowed. Unless you're dancing. Then you can clog. Now, pull this guy back. Ooh, that's nice. Put this up there. Hoo wee. Just do a little situation there. Cool piece. See, I'm getting all these extra pieces that I. I did yesterday too, I added those orange, they're like this color, and I just, everything I add them to, I'm not crazy about, so I just went ahead and, I don't know, why am I taking them one by one? Here's the whole sheet. So, yeah, I was just spritzing away, and then these raffle tickets, I thought they needed to be a lot grungier, so there, I made some little side pieces, waste not, want not, now these have to dry. And then we'll move on to the next step. Got my cutter out here and I picked some papers. I think since these are mixed media, I thought I would pull out some of my uh, handmade paper and see about putting some of it in there. And I think we could just select a bunch and then trim it down. Although this one, I might have to do something else with that. These are kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Wait on these, because these are already kind of smaller. So, I'm just kind of going with this, the papers that are mostly eight and a half by 11-ish. These are a little smaller. Those are a little bigger. These are different size, and oh, they're different size. So pretty much all of these we can trim down to be like so. Trim off quite a bit of that. Okay, here we go. And how wide? Quite a bit of that too. Let me just, let me just fold this over. Let's see. I'll put 
that there. And fold it over. Yeah, quite a bit. Quite a bit. How's that for specific? Okay, so now we'll just pretty much use this as our guideline. So these will be our, our base. These are a little smaller. Actually, yeah, we'll just do, we can get two out of this one. Pretty easily. Could almost fold these up for pockets. Maybe we'll just leave those as is. Okay. We'll set these over here. This we can definitely get that out of there. Kind of measure it very, very loosely. Ooh. Hopefully, oh, it's a little crooked. It's a bit crooked. Oh, it's like curved, whatever. <laughs> That's okay. Here we go, whoop de -oo. And actually these uh, extra papers, I'll probably use those little notepads, I should think. That will work pretty good. Okay, let's just take out like an inch on this one. Oh. And I've got three journals, so really it should be totally fine. Let's do a bunch in this one shot. See how many we can get in one run. Let me just off that middle bit there. Also, these can be a little notebooks, notepads. Okay, more papers for that. Now, how do we want to do this? It's a very really good question. Kind of like that edge over there. So we'll just leave these the right width and we'll take off about an uh, inch and a half. We'll try to cut it appropriately. I'm just going to trim um, from the bottom. Yeah, trim the bottom off. There we go. Now, we've got these papers. I don't know about this, but... Ooh, it made it. It made it all the way through. Cool. Now what? These are nice little writing papers. So, leave it about there. More little bits for notepads. I'm gonna slice that guy right in half. And what do we have here? Little coloring pages. Oh, you can do it. Right there. And it's gonna be a little big. Now we've got these like deli papers. We'll see how the cutter does with this kind of delicate paper. Pretty good. Okay, you win. I'm gonna cut off the edge. If you like, that would be better. These are very wide, too wide. So we'll do that. Hopefully. I like these two. These also. There we go. Lots of scraps. And then these, I think we'll just leave those. Yeah, as is. Divide them up and organize them into three different signatures. Okay, so here's one signature.
doing this one and that one. That, that way. That one, that way, that way, and this way. <laughs> so now, this is what that will look like. There, and then this will be, so that's looking very, very cool. As I, I have sort of an idea of where I'm going with these covers. This is sort of got like this little cool mesh thing that maybe we can use in the background. These little iridescent pieces that I, absolutely love and then on the back I have a little like burlap and it's very gluey right now so I'll just let that be and then here's a border that I glued on there so thank you for these as a gift they were from Jean I don't know what she used on these but it's some kind of iridescent cool thing there are these little window sleeves on each end so i'm gonna put this little card in there and this was my prototype but now i i know a little bit better way to do it so and it'll create a little stability and it'll kind of stick out the side here a little bit to give it a little more uh, interest so with that i have some already kind of ready to go here and I'm going to put this one on the top because this has got where I want it I want to cut it hopefully I can cut all of these in one shot with this cutter but this is my little line here make sure this is all straight sometimes I like to cut straight it's crazy I know what happens whoa Oh, some serious, serious business. Okay. Then with all of these, I might, have, might as well just leave my cutter out. I've got all this fun paper. Uh, right. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pre-cut it, I don't think. Am I? Maybe I will. Yeah, why not? So we'll just get this over to that edge right there. And then I'm just gonna ink it. And then I'll tell me where I need to trim. And I think I need six of these. So I don't know if we're gonna get all six out of here, but we're gonna try to get as many as we I think we're gonna get four. That sounds about right. We'll just go up to the top. And, whoa, careful. Very straight. Maybe. That looks pretty straight. Okay. Do another one. Just a smidge off that end. Straight. I don't know. That doesn't look straight to me at all. There we go. Got it. Now I'm just going to glue all these onto this, these papers. Get a couple more of these and then they'll be ready to insert. I ended up having, thinking I wanted to trim these off and the first one I did trim off, but then I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of this paper on the inside sticking out. So I was gonna like cut it off and glue it on. I thought, what? Why don't we just fold it over? 
So that's why these all have this little fold over and then they'll go like this. And then they'll get inserted in like so. Da -da -da. Pretend that's in the pocket and then it'll stick out kind of like this. So that, that's the goal. And then if they end up being too long, I just trim them off at the end. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. Went ahead and was playing around with making and decorating covers. I had a little bit of this sort of stuff and I ended up uh, cutting the, the piece that I had in two and then gluing it on there. I uh, mostly used my art glitter glue to glue everything down in my fabric glue. So if there was some fabric in there, then uh, touching something, then I used, I definitely used the fabric glue. So got this little ribbon here. I had this one butterfly. I did glue on that edge and a three button cluster with some dyed uh, cheesecloth. So this might be gauze. That might be, that is gauze, not cheesecloth, but they're very similar. So, yep, that's what we have so far. I'll put that clip on. Then the other one that I was working on had the turquoise edge. And as I was putting it together, I, uh, I just needed, I, I felt like I had to have a little bit of turquoise in there. I found this fun little fabric and clipped off a little bit of this turquoise here. Then it still seemed a little bit too, I don't know, in your face for the style of it. So then I put a little bit more of that dyed gauze over the top of it. Again, I use this textured webbing sort of stuff. And then I, I put on two little buttons there. Uh, I might add a third, but I don't think so. I think I, I'm thinking these are my three together. So I kind of like that for balancing it. So I'm very happy with those two covers so far. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna add um, something to the spine yet. Maybe we'll just have the spine um, with some charms from the signature that we sewed in. I don't know, it's hard to say. We still have this burlap. That might be a fun addition to adding to the spine. We'll see. This has got like a little bit of it was an actual burlap bag that was printed on it. So it has like a little bit of coloring and it's got a nice design to it. Some of the burlap that you buy in the store is more of a tighter, tighter symmetrical weave. And this one is a little bit more um, junky, you know, <laughs> junky. All right. So now the next move I'm going to make is to decorate this cover. The only... Uh, part I have here so far is that border on and then the burlap on the back for that edge because that looks a little bit better so yeah we are trucking right along with these three cute little journals I'm really loving this style signing off and as always thanks for coming along and I will talk to you later part two coming soon